Now the last type of image that I want to just play for, play around with, I'm going to go ahead and, and come back up here. I'm going to insert that basketball, insert image, and I'm going to choose basketball. Now one of the things to know is that this is already in a ping format, PNG. Much like the, the GIF formats, ping 8 can also have a transparent color. This is already set up as transparent. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK and I'm going to give it an alt tag and click OK. Now here we are, nice transparent background image of the basketball and that's really all I would want to do. I wouldn't want to add a color to this but I did want to show you that there are some images that will come in with a transparent background. Had this come in as a GIF, I could have gone through that transparency procedure as we had done up here. If I wanted to add a, a background, I could certainly do that as well in my image optimizer. But the thing to keep in mind here overall is the transparency piece that we applied here to our flask and is already applied here to our, our uh, basketball is not something I could readily apply to this photo of the bus and that's because there are millions of colors in this photo of this bus and I would not be able to select one color to drop out because colors would be oftentimes so close in in value that I wouldn't be able to distinguish which color it would be to drop out would not come up with satisfactory results however this basketball is still physically larger in terms of its being 340 wide and high I'm going to want to shrink that down and once I start shrinking it down, I should always run through that optimization. So this is going to give us one more chance to uh, review that optimization piece. I'm going to physically shrink it down to a size that I would like it to be. And I'm going to go ahead and bring it into that. Now you can kind of see that as I've done that, the image itself kind of looks a little fuzzy and funny. And that's because it's trying to squeeze all of that image down into a different dimension. And as soon as we go through the optimization, if nothing else that should appeal to you in terms of optimization, the enhancement of the photo should appeal to you. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Image Settings. Here is my image. Now notice that it says Ping 32. It's coming in at 17 uh, kilobytes. Ping 32 is almost never appropriate for a web design. We really can't uh, utilize it and we would really only want to use that if we wanted to go to good high quality print. We don't need to do that. We're going to go with ping 8 and then we can also go ahead and select a transparency. Similar idea here and it actually has already done the alpha transparency with that particular color and it is sitting at uh, 1.4 kilobytes and that is um, significantly less. Let me go ahead and show you the original image here back in Wikimedia. This is my original image. It came in at 154 kilobytes and after I have finished optimizing it here in Dreamweaver it's physically smaller than it used to be granted but it is only 6.4 kilobytes at this point. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK and notice one of the other things that has happened is that the image has become smoother and cleaner in terms of overall appearance. So overall what we have talked about here is image optimization. You should always optimize your pages to the maximum extent that you can without losing overall quality of your images. I'm going to close it. I'm going to open it just one more time and just take a look really quickly here uh, at, at my final product and that's what that's all about. Talk to you later.